Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So last episode we were attempting to generate a lot of sea bills, and as you can see, we did not do that. Took a few da uh, damaging missions there. Um, so let's quickly look in the mech bays just to show you what I did to, to fix things up. So we lost a leg off the griffin, which means we lost some jade talons, unfortunately. But we did have extra talons we could drop in. Uh, they're the same weight. So basically I had to strip all of the melee gear off of this guy first. Um, then apply the talons because talons are damage only. Um, so once again, when you're building building a melee mech, you want to go with all the bonus damage only items first, right? So the ER uh, uh, pirate uh, medium laser, the six additional base melee damage, the talons, and then you want to go with items that apply bonus melee damage plus percentage damage, right? Which was just the claws, the retractable blade. Uh, also went on as well. Um, my suggestion is to apply the lowest bonuses first and then the highest bonuses last. So talons would go on first with the ER medium, then the retractable blade would go on um, with the five and then plus 45% on top of that. And then this would add plus 10 and then 70% on top of that. And then the last thing is just the, the percentage only. So the DNI cockpit would go back in with the plus 10% melee damage. Uh, very very last so that's kind of how we did it here um, To get this guy refitted and back up for fighting didn't do much to the Griffin uh, The damage should be probably uh, almost exactly the same as last time There wasn't really much difference between the talons and the J talons so damage should pretty much be the same Wolverine is just fine bushwhacker took some damage. We're gonna have a look at him last but the Shadowhawk I just did a really quick refit here um, So I managed to buy a couple of more double plus flamers in the store and we had the triple plus flamer sitting in our uh, storage. So now we've got all tri double pluses and one triple plus flamer. And I was able to squeak in a clan flamer as well. So we've, now we've got one extra flamer in here. Fluid gun stayed on, plasma cannon stayed on. Uh, I think this is still a really good loadout. It's a really great, We the plasma cannon showed its uh, worth in the last episode where we hit for 114 back damage on an overheating mech. So yeah, that's uh, that was really good. So I really like having that on my overheater because now my overheater can just deal with mechs on its own heat them up shut them down either get behind them or get beside them and just blast them with the plasma cannon and finish them off now these flamers do significant damage like 15 heat damage right uh, on their own and then it's like a 50 percent bonus on overheating targets which isn't much but then we got the triple plus flamer which is times three overheat damage which is like another uh, it's like 15 or something like that i guess damage um but still, it's still like each of these will do 15 damage by themselves um, on overheating targets, which is great. So yeah, that's, you know, pretty good uh, for this guy. And now let's have a look at uh, the Bushwhacker. So I didn't have any triple plus SRMs, obviously, to replace the ones that we lost. We did lose a two off the arm. So I ended up moving the two that we had in the torso into the arm. Uh, the triple plus SRM4 moved from this torso over to here. We've got an SRM2 in here, uh, and we just threw the SRM6, or a SRM6 back in this torso. Dropped in a couple of medium lasers. Uh, now we lost some LK ammo out of here, um, which we did not replace. We just left it for now, uh, because I think we're, because the number of SRMs has dropped, I don't think that our ammo situation is going to be in that much jeopardy. The SRM6 we can use with the uh, acid ammo. Um, so that'll be a constant fire. And then we've got 18 rounds here. So the LK ammo, we're looking at about, what, five, 10, maybe 10 and a half turns of firing with LK ammo. And then we've got five turns of firing with dead fire ammo. So I'm not really that worried about our ammo situation. I think we're pretty good here. Um, I did have to add another proto heat sink here. Um, and I think I lowered the engine core slightly because we lost the engine core. It was a 250, so I had, and I didn't have one, so we had to go down to a 240. So we gained a bit of tonnage there, um, but I did have to add another proto heat sink um, to help make up for the heat deficit. So we're still running relatively neutral. Um, it's, you know, 48, 58, so we'll have to see how it goes. The medium lasers, I put one on each arm. Um, this one's, you know, got accuracy and evasion pip ignored extra heat generated, but that's fine. And then this one's plus one accuracy and 25% chance to do a critical hit and plus two extra heat. So we don't have to use both of these all the time. We could turn them off, but actually now that I'm looking at this, this we should probably have put in 
We've got enough for, doesn't run with a hand, lower arm, right? Right, okay, let's do that. Real quick, I forgot to put that in. Right. I'll get it in the so yeah, that's pretty much it for the lances. Um, we're back up and running and we've got some good contracts. Now there is an issue on this planet we have to take care of and I think we gotta take care of it right now. Synthetic Plague looks like um, we've got a developing situation commander and we need immediate aid from a reliable mercenary company. A covert local government team was investigating reports of a cache of bioweapons in an otherwise abandoned world. We tracked down four of these caches in Perfume over the last 20 years and disposed of them safely. The team was about to s signal for an extraction when their signal went dead. We have reason to believe that the local government forces have taken control of the cache site and eliminated our covert team. We needed to take care of the site and disposal team. And signal our disposal team. So yeah, we can't let people have bioweapons. So we're gonna take care of this problem. It's three and a half skull. I think we can do it though. It's local government, capture a base. So let's get in on this right away. Um, 521 salvage, let's hope we find an archer here because we do have lots of archer pieces after the last few missions that we weren't able to capitalize on. Um, and let's get going. Now Red Comet, uh, we got piloting up to seven now which is giving a bonus of plus 10% to sprint, which should help, help out a little bit, but not that much overall. But I am working for higher piloting on her. I want to have more evasion on our close-in mix. So that's what we're working towards. All right, so let's deploy and get this done. Command All right, let's take this base. We can dispose of these bioweapons. The vileness of bioweapons. All right, let's push hard on this. Uh, actually, let's not, because we ran into trouble last time when I did that, so let's just kind of move up, just in case. Yeah, you know, that was totally my fault the last time. I did not think there was a Lance of Mechs defending. Usually there's like a little marker that says there is, but I ran into battle all stupid-like. Let's get our LK ammo set up for a acid. Yeah, I was just cocky, that's all. Would have been a different battle if Megasaur hadn't lost her leg right at the very beginning there. Okay, I don't think we've got any... Well, you know what Thought did, right? Yeah, we do have targets. So we've got... Kenneru, whatever the hell that is. Wasp, Grand Dragon, okay. And a Hunchback. Alright, not too, too bad. Kandiru. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. So we got um, not a lot of tough stuff on this guy. 35 tons. And the Hunchback is the LRM back. Grand Dragon's got the Gauss Rifle, the PPC FI on, and SRM-6 with dead fire ammo. Well, let's get that dead fire ammo, I'd say. And hardened standard turret, lasers, wasp is useless, and lasers. So, and what's this one? Lasers. Okay, cool. And that's AC-10. So as long as we stay at range for those turrets, we're good. Let's fire at the Grand Dragon. Let's, he's our prime target, I think. Oh, yeah. Those of you who are panicking because I actually used uh, hotkeys there. I apologize, I won't do it all the time. <laughs> all right, moving up here. Um, let's see if we can just pull this guy to the battle, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot, not gonna work. Okay, um, we need to get within striking distance, so let's get up here. We don't really have any ranged fighters, that's the problem. Yeah. Ready for orders. We do here though. Okay. Going. We need as much evasion as we can get. So let's fire on this guy, maybe we can kill him. Not if we're gonna miss like that, we sure as hell are not. My turn. Reserving action. Megasaur can't do anything until we get eyes on something. Let's 
See if we can trash this vehicle before they get eyes on us. Firing. Wow, it took it all out and it didn't die, eh? I don't know if they can see us. Either that or they're just really bad. Uh, let's restrict the recoil on this guy. We should be able to kill him. Yeah. Crawler destroyed. Commander. Let's get some fire supporting closer. It's going to give them a chance to hit us, but let's let this guy know that we're here. I'm hoping the Grand Dragon decides to move in. A little bit of narc on him. Gonna reserve Megasaur. I think maybe we're just fast. Yep. Where are my horns at? He didn't fire though. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Maybe he's looking for a melee. Let's go from the front. Maybe we can pick up that right torso. Fluid and A-pod on. Uh, let's hammer him. On my way. I'm still reading oh shut up Darius. Punch him right in the face. Engaging. Oh, take the leg. Okay, 150 damage. Now he was braced too, so that's fine. We get instability on him? A little bit. It's fine. Yeah, good luck getting there. Yeah, see, we want to get uh, piloting set, uh, 8 on uh, Megasaur as well. So that's what we're working towards. Just for that extra chevron. Now, I can't remember. I don't think we put a defensive gyro in here either. I think we need to get a gyro that's going to give us plus one defense. Uh, okay. Wow, these guys are sitting ducks. Let's get into here. Uh, question is, I'm going to go Warlord right now. Let's knock our heat down. So we have it again in four turns when we're against turrets and probably another lance that's going to show up. Because uh, this doesn't look like it's the right weight for three and a half skulls. So let's kill this guy. Or do serious damage to him. Because he's standing still. I want to try and get as much salvage off the Grand Dragon as I can. Although the Hunchback's another option. I've already got a hunchback though, so I don't think we really need another one. We do need to move up and wait, and it's the one thing that's uh, keeping us from taking five skulls. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's a tough choice because I'm finding that it's like... God, what do we want to do now? We CT'd him. I think we want to reserve. Um, I think Comet is going to come in and provide a solution here. So let's do this. And this. Almost shut him down. Okay, stick me, stick with me for this, because I think what I want to do. Uh, I was hoping to get sight on the hunchback. Um, Two seventy-five, eh? What can we do here? Fifty-five. Almost 60, 60, another 45. Yeah, we can't even get close. Uh, hunchback it is. Soften him up a little bit. 
trying to sucker him. I need him in here. I want Megasaur to hit him. Because I don't want her going after the dragon and then not having any evasion. The dragon's pretty much... He's in melee. He, oh, okay, thank you for sacrificing yourself for us. The dragon is in... He's going to have to melee, I think, this turn. I mean, he might fire the Goss. He's taking a lot of CT damage, though. Let's see what he does. He's glowing a nice... A nice color there. Wow. Didn't think he would just give up, though. Back attack. There goes most of his weapons. It's weird how they lock on certain people and then don't fire at them. Alright, let's uh, finish this guy up. Okay, probably the wasp next. Yeah. Yep, thanks for showing up, buddy. Damage minimal. I'm here. Order acknowledged. Roger. Commander. Hmm. On my way. Double time. All right, let's start off on these guys. Firing. Should we be able to take that next turn? Finish this guy up. I should have turned the uh, fluid gun off. Oh well. Yeah, come on. Not even gonna let me show you. Not even gonna show me that. What are you doing? Hope we can salvage that. Yeah, I know. We're on it. Um. Yes. Almost enough. It's got acid on it though, so that's good. Ready for orders. Let's give this turret a what for. Okay. That turret is gone. That dragon feels like he's got some hope. As long as Comet's going before the dragon, Commander? there's no need to move uh, Megasaur right away. Um trying to get this guy. Do we go go after the leg? Can't get it from here, so we're just going to flame him. Flame him! Firing on rear arc. Battle mech power-up detected. What's up, boss? 
Don't need you up ahead just yet. Let's get over here. Position confirmed. And let's go after the leg. Uh, let's leave the acid gun off. I don't want to do too much damage. Chaff can stay on though. Okay, lots of nice leg hits there. Just in case he decides he gets a chance to shoot before us next turn, the chaff is nice to have on him. Make it harder for him to do anything. Alright, finally getting to hit some stuff here. Well, we're not moving very far, so... How much do you got left in his leg here? Nine points. Receiving. Um... Let's see if we can get that leg. Fire. Confirmed. Ah, you did so well last time. What the hell? And firing. You'll see why I'm doing this in a second. There's no need to finish this turret off when this guy can do it. On it. Uh, let's dial our heat back a little bit and just fire these. Should be able to kill it. Got it. Turret eliminated. What do we got over here? Griffin, okay. Okay, okay. Now, how much damage do we do? Not a lot to the back. Standing by. Uh, let's just get over here. All right. Let's shut him down. Taking the leg, nice. Not shutting him down, but we're knocking him down, so that's good. Oh, we are shutting him down. Never mind. A dagger. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Hopefully it doesn't look like a locust. I wouldn't... Ever since I, the the daggers were using the locust models, I was I was calling locust daggers all the time. Hopefully it's like a griff a uh, raven model or something. Waiting for orders. On the move. Okay. Still got lots left in the CT. We're still okay here. Um, firing. We can't get in the thing. <sighs> Painful. Let's move over here. Warlord's back. Do we need it? Um, nope. Dump everything into here. I'm here. Ten four. Okay, I think we're just gonna fire normally now. Uh, he's got lots of armor on this side unless we hit the CT, but the CT is a really low chance from the side, so. Let's just roast them. Order. Ms. Flowers. Okay, I need a multi-target on this, please. So that's going to be B. Uh, both those to A, this to B. A, B. Sure, why not? We should be able to kill them both. Both of them should still have acid on them, so extra damage. Nicely done. 
Turret's down. Now we just got to deal with the dagger, Griffin, and what else we got, whatever else we got down there. Griffin, one, what was that? One B? Two NB. Don't know, I can't remember how many Griffin parts we have left over. I think we have one. One or two. What was that? Another dagger. Huh. Okay. Hope they got a heavy mech. I mean, this Grand Dragon's nice, but I'd like something else. Yeah, not for long. All right. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything that scares me. So let's try. Ah. No, let's not try. Let's fire this. Okay, we got an acid round on him. Nice. Waiting for orders. Don't have to worry about turrets here. Let's just move over here. Uh, do I want to... You saw me press Warlord, right? I pressed Warlord. I didn't say fire. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. Probably why. Alright, um, let's leave the ER large off for now. Yeah, let's do the NARC off for now. Uh, fire the rest. A little bit, a little bit of damage there. Um... I gotta leave here in a second. This guy's gonna take forever to kill, but we gotta get up to the front line. So, we're going after the leg. No, I think we got the arm there. Oh, no, I don't know. A lot of leg hits. Pretty close to killing this guy. Doing a pretty good job of saving him, though. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Decided to come in and die. You know I got my dead fire ammo, right? Damage minimal. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't know that. He's about to find out, though. Can show him what SRM dead fire looks like. I just wonder what the other guy is. Okay. Come on. Is that all you got? I'm wondering if it just is the two daggers and this guy. I'm thinking it is. Commander. Location confirmed. Okay, Megasaur is going to move to a position where they can go after the two daggers here in a second. So we're going to fire again at this guy's leg. Looks like we got a pen there. Is it a leg pen? It was. Nice. Jammed by ECM. Sure. It's hard rock this. Ooh. Yes, Commander. Nice survivability, buddy.
80%, huh? Let's Warlord it. And now offensive push against the leg. Doesn't have that much left. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, I don't want to use the plasma mechanics. I don't want to do a lot. He's, it's going to do two and a half times damage, so it's going to do a lot of damage if we hit with this guy. And I don't want to, like, blow his CT up. So we're going to fire with this. Still shut down. Lots of leg damage. Yeah, we should be able to finish him up next turn. So Megasaur is free to go. I'm showing minor damage. Waiting for orders. Um, can we we can't. Can with this. I think I want to go pinpoint. Let's fire. Nope. Didn't work out. It's going down. Oh, we almost killed that torso though. Almost got it. All right, they're finally starting to work their weight in. I think it's probably just those three mechs, it looks like. He's going to jump out of there. I have no idea where he's going to go, though. If it was me, I'd jump back this way with my back this way and fire in this way. But I don't know. See what he does? Could jump back here, though. Nope. Should realize the dragon is lost. Okay. Ready for orders. Here it comes. What is up, buddy? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good connection. Don't even worry about the tag. Him lying on his back on the ground is tag enough. Oh, they do have somebody. They got power armor. <laughs> you know, every time I open my mouth, I'm always proved wrong. I'm receiving you. Uh, offensive push. Let's claim this leg and get out of here. There we go. Thank you. Let's get into the battle now. Plasma cannon turned on. Yags, let's finish this guy up. Uh, from right here. Um, this is going to be a brutal kill. Let's leave the two medium lasers off. And this one off. And just fire these guys. Love me some dead fire. Wow, suicide. Damage is light. Receiving you. Warlord is back. Let's get our stability back. Let's drop some Warlord up. Uh, let's get all our guns up and rocking. Do we want to kill this guy? Uh, probably not. We won't be able to. We don't think we're going to get a better shot at this guy's back. So let's take it. Wow, look at this, eh? Even with Warlord. Alright, hammer him. Alright. Good start. Good start. 
What what our melee attack on that power armor is going to be? Let's find out. Light damage. Holding firm. Okay, there's the base. What Let's the find out. Wow. 91%. Let's see if we can squash this guy. Oh, that's got to hurt. Just incinerate him in case he decides to bail. We better make sure that we're not in the landing zone. I gotta make sure my last guy's... I don't think it's he's in the landing zone, but... That hit something good. Knocked him down with flamers, man. Pretty sure we're not in the landing zone. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Confirmed. Wow, still... Oh yeah, because we got hit by the... Uh, the flamer that gave us extra heat. There it is, folks. That was a that was a fun battle. That one was pretty good. That's a kill. I mean, I wasn't worried at any point in time. I was hoping for more heavy mechs. But it was fun taking that dragon down with just the flamers. Mission successful. Alright, so good day for the day done. 20% increase, which is nice. It's nice that the bioweapons won't be used. No idea what they are, but you can just imagine how horrible they would be. All right, let's see what we got here. Grand Dragon parts, dagger... We actually got dagger parts, okay. Um, double plus Gauss rifle. Two times crit chance, plus five heat. Possibility. Triple plus PPC. These are the ones that I love. Plus ten damage, minus five heat. Yes, please. Um, our sheath we don't need plus two core light engine we've got oh we don't have any of um, heavy gyro double heat sink kit we don't have any running low on a lot of stuff it looks like recon sensors I know we do have a lot of that stuff warfare suite uh, looks like I'm grabbing gear on this one. Dead fire ammo. Essa. Ah, oh, man. We got lots of inferno ammo. Oh, more dead fire or more LK? More dead fire, I think. I thought we can actually load it on yet, but let's hang on to it. Um. I want to grab that. It seems like kind of a weird pick. But we're going to go with it. Alright, two dagger parts. Grand, oh, I got one dragon part, really. Oh well. It's hoping for more. At least we didn't get zero. Okay, we've got two grid patchwork materials. Goss. Okay. Let's have a look. 19,000. Not bad. Let's get this repaired and get into another battle here. Gonna go after another three and a half skull, I think. So, let's get repaired. Shouldn't take very long. Pilot some mechs back at the same time. It's always nice. And let's have a look at the contracts. Hoping for some more things that are top. Defend base. Um... Doesn't say who we're defending from. War criminal at four skulls in the Highlands, Outworld Alliance. Clandestine research against the government. Capture base. Hmm.
Renegade? Three and a half skull Renegade? I think so. Planetary government, eh? Took the ghost bear mech with her. Well, we need to recover that mech, I think. So let's negotiate this sucker. Let's go for it. And let's deploy and get this done. Okay, so far it looks like only one lance and one lance at three and a half skulls. So we could be in for a good battle here. But then again, we've been tricked before at three and a half skulls, so I don't know. Uh, let's switch our ammo up here. Contemplating whether or not I want to put in the dead fire and leave the acid out of this. But having that acid on targets, especially if we're going to be going against heavier targets, is I think essential. Firepower wise, our lance is pretty under firepowered. Like just weapon wise. The flamer unit doesn't do a lot of damage. Megasaur's got a lot of like one single target punch. Um, which is pretty good. And we do have close range ability with the bushwhacker for a lot of potential splash damage, but the only pinpoint weapon we have is the ER large. So the other thing we could do with this Wolverine is switch it out. Oh, okay, what do we got here? Are you kidding me? It's a freaking Godzilla. <laughs> We fire? Why not? What's up, buddy? We're coming for you. Just let them know we're coming, guys. It's a fucking Godzilla. If we get close, this guy's done. Vehicle? Jesus! Oh, Christ! He can see us already! Under heavy fire. Yeah, we all are. Holy shit. Another vehicle. Standing by. The hell out of this guy's way. Uh, it's a damn good thing we got lots of speed. On the move. Full speed. Get some chaff on this guy, hopefully. Nope. Negative damage. We gotta get to point blank on this guy. Uh, that's probably a bad sprint. I don't know. I think he's gonna be able to move around and see me enough. Even there. Let's get to here. Full throttle. I'm here. Comment your ass up here. Shut his ass down, guys. Order. Do you have the speed? <sighs> Do I risk it? Is he going to be able to move out enough to be able to target us? Copy that. Confirmed. Four Goss rifles. Okay, we got a narc on him. It's going to help out. What was that? Grasshopper. Ooh, we're finally getting some heavier mechs here. Fire truck. What's up, boss? Uh, okay. We got Sprinter right beside him. I don't feel good about this. Don't feel good about this at all. Orders. 
Let's get within his point blank range. Ten four. If we're gonna do it, we'll just risk it for the biscuit. Look at this guy. Best chances to hit. Let's do it. Firing. Oh, he's only got 1680 armor? You miss with that thing so often. Yes. He's done for. If we can shut him down with just that little heat. Do I want a melee him? That's the question. Roger. My flamer is in. It's fine. Bardiche. No idea what it's got on it, but okay, we're free to sprint up here now. Don't kill him before we get there. Copy that. We all want some fun. Roger. Um, let's not waste our want headshots on this guy or leg shots. What do you think? He's got tons of armor, 11%. Way better chance for legs, though, so let's go after them. Acid is giving us really good damage. We're starting off on this side. Let's move over. And firing. Fire in all Ooh, close to getting that leg. This could be a quick battle. The fact that he doesn't have reinforcements up close. There goes the leg. If he had if he was right with the other lance. Um, this would not be a battle at all. Like, or sorry, this wouldn't be this bad at all. It would definitely be a battle. I don't think we need uh, her up here. Um, let's move this way. Um, this would be uh, definitely a huge issue. We'd be ducking and dodging the direct fire from this mech for the entire battle, hoping to kill off all the adds. Just bail out. It's not going anywhere. I don't know what the hell you think you're, you're talking about, but it's not going any friggin' place. Let's see if we can see what we got. Okay, Grasshopper and three vehicles. Acid truck. Let's just hammer it. Uh, bonus chances to hit, please. Ooh, not quite enough. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Order. If we'd gone with dead fire, it would have probably worked. Uh, let's reserve it. Let's reserve Megasaur here. Actually, I might want to send her down there, uh, down here now. I don't think we need her up there. Enemy sensor lock detected. Move order received. Um, uh, we're gonna just go with it. Yes, 
Commander. I want to be in a position where we can uh, just shoot from the one side. Don't need the offensive push. Not sure what I'm thinking. Targeting the leg. Firing. Okay, the ER just hit the leg. Great start. Great start on that. He's gone next turn. Well, at least he applied some damage to us. That's the one thing I will say. So we're going to target the Grasshopper um, like we did this guy. Going to squash up all the vehicles, I think. Commander. So let's get down here. I copy. Shoot this guy in the ass. Okay. Yeah, nice shooting. You're not saving the Godzilla, but nice shooting. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's reserve you. I think we can probably move out with Baba Yaga and get some eyes on, and then we can get you stamping on things. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. We'll probably have it blown up by then, though. Uh, yeah. Terminated with extreme prejudice. Let's hope for reinforcements. Um, I think that should be enough. All we need is one good hit, I think. Yep. Score! That could have been really hazardous. He could have been really dangerous. Okay, let's get you as far down here as possible. I want to get on that grasshopper. Um, you want to go with her? I think we probably should. Let's get you going over here too. Um. You've got the chaff, right? Let's put that on the grasshopper. If we can hit. Eh. So we're in a good position here. It's really open for reinforcements, but... Not gonna happen. Let's move. Okay, chaff here, please. Firing. Ah, well, I thought one of those could have hit. No joy. Commander. Ms. Flowers. Oh, we can get uh, shots on. So let's do that. Uh, let's go after the vehicle. Narc, ER large. Sure, why not? Firing. Roger that. Wow. Four hits out of the five. Nicely done. Let's see if we can't uh, finish that vehicle up. And hammer it. Not going to happen, but... Okay, we got acid on it. That's really going to help out. Commander? Confirmed. All right, we got lots of eyes on now. Is this a meal near? No, it's just a grasshopper. Plasma, sure. Failed to connect. Hey, well, at least we'll be near our <laughs> our s our uh, escape point here, which we have to get to anyway. Come on, guys. It's not that difficult.
Okay. Just bringing yourself into range of the flamers and the punches. I'm wondering... The melee mech's nice, but I'm wondering if we outfit a second flamer mech. I mean, the melee mech's really nice for killing things. If we want to salvage stuff... Just shutting it down is like really the best way to go. Heading out. Yeah, mm. nothing else on it. To Not enough for instability either, right? Eh? Okay, where is this guy damaged? Left side. Can we get to his left side? No, but we can shoot him in front really bad. So let's get in. Um, let's get it rid of our instability. Two hundred left. One hundred forty on the front. Let's switch it up. Like that. Give us the best chances to hit. And maybe we kill this guy. Nope. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Almost gone though. Yeah, 27 left. Three missiles and you would have been done. Scramble my sensors all you want, and I can stop me from hitting you. Waiting for orders. Yeah, I just get down here. Ooh, maybe you can uh, make them unstable. Firing. Here it comes. Should be enough for instability. Yep. Waiting for orders. Here comes the hammer. This guy's left. That thing could be scary. Alright, let's finish this guy up. Uh, we got the ammo, let's use it. Yeah, I got rid of the XL engine, oh well. Finish this guy up. Uh, step on him from the front, please. Save the engine, hopefully. Engaging. Okay. Kill the vehicle. Save the engine. Reporting vehicle destroyed. I'm receiving you. Roger. Okay. How much heat has this guy got on him? Still a lot. Um, start for the leg. Now he has been head hit. Let's try for it. Why not? It'll make it quicker if we take it. We're gonna do it though. Give us that little extra chance. Firing. Yeah, there goes the right torso. Is he falling down? No. See if we can blow on him and knock him over here. Uh, let's switch out of the dead fire though. I mean, we could send it all acid. It's less damage. 
Turn these guys off. Just plink the head, maybe knock him down. Yeah, he even hit him. Huh. Standing by. Barbecue him from the other side so we don't blow him up. Let's just make sure we heat him. Standing by. Now, the question is, can we knock him down? Try to plink his head. Nope. Really. Oh, you're that fast, huh? Oh! Yes, you still haven't gone this turn? thought you went first. Or maybe it was last, last turn, that's why I thought. Alright, let's get around here. Uh, if we're gonna do it, let's offensive push his leg. Fire. What? What? Okay, whatever. Destroyed his engine. Enemy mech destroyed. Oh, for Christ's sake. Didn't think I did that much damage. I wonder why Sunflower retreat. I don't know. Whatever. Waiting for orders. Here we go. Let's get out of here. Well, that was a good Godzilla fight, I guess. Wasn't exciting as the last battle, though. Mission successful. All right. Contract payment increased by twenty-five percent. Which is good because we'll need a little bit of, of uh, repairs. I think these were the Gauss rifle hits right here and here. 74 each. Yeah. I don't know what hit us here. Anyway, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Gosszilla pieces. I don't think we can not take them. It's going to be harder to get a Godzilla, but a large X-Pulse too, though. That's weight. Oh, it's weight, weight, weight. Right now, we can't use... Uh, there's nothing... Well, triple XL. That's some C-Bills right there. Okay, I'm going to throw that in. Ah. It's always so hard to decide. Cockpit, cockpit mounted... Torso mounted cockpit. Okay, we were <laughs> uh, we were talking about using the the flame bat breath and the uh, gazer beam thing on the uh, on a mech with a torso mounted cockpit. I almost want to grab this now because I don't know if I'm going to see it again. LRM Thunder. What? Twenty five percent impaired movement for two turns. Thunder mines a direct. Firing missiles that inflict damage to target's legs, reducing its movement. Okay. I know I've read that before. I forgot what it was. Okay, ah, uh, man. Do we grab the torso medic? Ah, oh, God. We just fought, fought a Godzilla. I don't know why I'm arguing. So first crack at 100 ton pieces. Let's just grab them. Let's confirm. Okay, we got three Grasilla, two Grasshopper pieces. Two of the Goss rifles. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then crap. Well, we got double load of Goss ammo, though. That's pretty good. 
All right, that was actually pretty good. 43,000, not too bad. 12 days for repairs. That's really the big thing is the number of days for repairs. Uh, let's sell the XXX engine first. I want to see if we can get, look at, they got extra parts, dragon parts, thunderbolt parts, wolverine parts, banshee parts. Ah, all right, selling. Let's get rid of that triple XL engine first. Uh, where are you here? Here we go. 812,000 right there. Boom. All right. Um, let's have a quick look at our tasks. Um, uh, yeah, it's not bad in days. Back in seven. Let's pull another mission off today. Cause why not? I don't think any of our mechs were internally damaged. We'll just have a quick check here. Now nah, we're good. Um, but let's go have a look in the storage real quick here. So we got three Gauss parts. Okay. We do have the charger part too. Heavy, we've got two grasshopper parts, dragon part, grand dragon part, Orion, four of that archer, five catapult parts, Gungnir, four parts, regular dragon, three parts, oh, dragon pirate, uh, archer clan. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to getting a heavy mech here. We only got one Thunderbolt part, but not much we can do about that. Black Cat. Okay, mediums. We still got a ways to go now because we've finished up a bunch of them. Bushwhacker. Be nice to have another one of Bushwhacker, like another Bushwhacker, but uh, we got four Gorilla parts. We've been sitting on those for quite a while now. And three of a different kind of Bushwhacker. Yeah, not a lot. Okay, so we've got a ways to go. So let's hope we pick up an archer in the next mission here. Let's look at our contracts. Actually, let's check out our barracks real quick. Check our mech warriors. Second Lance is benched right now, so I'm not going to worry about them. They're not really in a category that they can do too much. Um, Sunflower. Yeah, we're still waiting on a lot of things. Okay. So let's have a look at our contracts. Something on another three and a half skulls. War criminal four skulls. No, I, I, you know, broken chain, destroy a base. It's five, 521 salvage. It is against Outworld Alliance, but we're like, what are we at here with these guys? Come on, show me here. 63. So we're not going to lose too much with these guys. And we're at 44 with Ghost Bear. So let's pull off a Ghost Bear mission. 521 salvage. I like the looks of that. So let's negotiate this. Destroy base. We're good at that. So let's accept this. Probably not the best lands to do this with. Um, but we can definitely get it done. So let's deploy. Uh, yeah. Command interface initiated. Alrighty. Uh, right. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um. However, I don't know what we got defense-wise, so I don't want to push this just yet. Normally I push into here, but we're in a position now where we're fighting mechs and stuff that I don't know how well we're going to be handling them. So let's get our mechs that have to be up close in here. Quick step in it. Got eyes in the turret already, eh? We got Clint? Coffee. Really? Pirate Marsden, eh? Yes, Commander. We want to go up to this turret. I think we do. 
Wasn't gonna push in, but I am now. No idea how much damage it took. Hell you. Tiger. Tiger 1 or Tiger 2? Alright. Thinking we can probably afford to be a bit aggressive. So let's do that. Arbiter. Okay, not too bad. Probably going to have a second lance coming in then. Uh, let's get our acid oops, acid loaded up. Um, yeah. Let's fire. Okay, got acid on him. Nice. What is he using? Rack LBX2? Um, Move order received. Sure, let's hammer this guy here. Kind of deciding what I want to do here. Let's get rid of the tiger if we can. Probably. All we gotta do is hit. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Yep. Well, maybe they'll have something that's worthwhile. Putting my weight into it. Got 521 salvage, they better have something that's worthwhile. Ah, I left that on. Oh well. Gotta remember to turn those pods off. Okay, let's get on this guy. And... Fire... Not so bad, but we can see this vehicle. We can crush him next turn. Oh, really? I guess because you're overheated, but sure. Come on, stay in the open. Okay, so we know we've got two Lerm turrets and an AC, oh, three Lerm turrets and an AC turret. Well, they could be medium, well, these are medium range, but still. Um, so the, the Clint has decided to commit suicide, so let's grant him that wish. Sure. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> aye, aye. Christ, it's like Lieutenant Spears. If you've never seen the episode of Attack on Foy from uh, um, Band of Brothers, where S Spears basically runs through the actual village with the Germans <laughs> staring at him, it's pretty much what this is. He just runs by all the <laughs> enemy forces and attacks this guy. I mean, it's not 100% accurate. He didn't run through the village to actually connect uh, in real life with the uh, um, Allied forces. He actually ran through the village to tell them to stop shooting at him because they were shooting at each other. But it's the same idea. I mean, it's no less, no uh, 
reduction in bravery just to run through the enemy fire. Because what I understand is I think both both companies attacked the village and uh, one company was attacking the other one because they thought they were Germans by mistake. So he ran over to basically say, hey, stop shooting at us. But he still had to run through all the German fire to do it. That's just insane. I don't know how... I would never be able to be that brave. Alright. Uh, we don't need a plasma. Let's leave it off for now. Meltdown. Interested to see what they've got coming up. Maybe that's a panther or something. I got a feeling it's going to be like minimal forces. LRM-5. Shadowhawk or uh, Vindicator or something. Oh, that's a Vindicator. I think we do have a few Vindicator parts. Yeah. Let's get these turrets gone, please. Uh, we need this vehicle gone, too. He's got how much in the front? 260. But if we bust this out... Should be able to squash him? 220, yeah, double 225. Are you kidding me? It's going to destroy everything in this vehicle, probably. Boom. God, I love that. Okay, let's kill these turrets before the uh, enemy shows up. Dead fire should do this one, probably. Cool off. Fire on this guy. Everything. Now we got acid on it. Okay, can I get to a position where only one turret can see me? By walking? Well, probably not. Um, yeah, only one turret can see me here. Let's finish this turret up, if we can. Oh, pretty darn close. Grimalkin. Vindy. Something else. I just got a new paint job. Stop shooting me. Grimalkin. Two of them. Okay. Parts is parts is parts. That's all we can put on this guy? I guess so. He's detected. We know he's there now. A watcher, huh? Is it the watcher in the water? Yeah, I remember that fight from... I don't know if you guys ever played Lord of the Rings online. The watcher in the water fight was crazy. I was never able to finish that with any of, my, any of the groups that we played. The one guy that was uh, our leader really knew what to do, but the rest of us old fogies trying to get the job done was <laughs> really difficult. We tried so many times and just all of us died. But at that point in time, we had, had, we had so much money and so much gear, we could have just gone forever. Yeah. Doing the turtle raid wasn't so bad, though. All the other uh, Moria raids were okay. Flight damage. Hold in firm. All right, let's end this turret. Um, one it gone. We can leave the dead. We can leave the uh, that off. Let's get up into attack range. No shooting, just running. Show these guys what they can expect here. A little bit of damage on this turret. 
coming for you guys. Turret destroyed. Waiting for orders. Got it. Full speed, no target. Don't know if we want vindicator parts, but this should be good. Got a little bit of heat on him so he doesn't want to fire that PPC a bit. Yes, Commander. Um Wanna shoot these buildings up? Okay, these guys don't have a lot. That's got a hundred. That's got a hundred, so don't have enough. Uh, seventeen, thirty-four, fifty-one, fifty-one, and fifty-one, and fifteen, and five, forty-five. We might have enough. No, we don't, because we gotta get internal structure too, don't we? No, we don't. A and B. So that goes to A. This goes to A. This goes to A. This can go to A. And these. Oops. My God. How many times have I messed that up? See, I don't think we're gonna hit with all of these on A. So these guys have to be B, and these guys have to be A. Still the same, doesn't matter. Well, let's hope they all hit. Okay, if all these hit, this building goes down. Yep, nicely done. No, 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 it's fine. No, no, you don't have to. Just, just buzz around, we'll let you know when to drop down. We want to make sure all these guys were watching us when we did that. That way they can get angry. So, these look like they're clan mechs. I'm taking some serious hit. That's not a serious hit. That could have been worse. So, these guys are what weight? 35 tons, eh? They're cougars. Yeah, they're basically cougars. I know we faced them before. I don't know if we have any of these parts though. But I don't know if I want a 35 ton cougar at this point. But they might have clan engines in them. That would be co good coin. Stop hitting me. Oh fucking T-Semp man. I hate that thing. Only because I'm usually on the receiving end of it. All the teams, all the T-Samps I tend to have don't really do a whole lot to the enemy or uh, they misfire or blow up on me. Oh wow, you decided to jump and fire your lasers although you're overheating. Really? Thanks for showing up. Commander. Um... Sure. Roger. I think these cougars we're going to grab last. I want to see what we can get off them. That was a leg hit it looked like. Yeah. I have no, what else, no idea what else that is supposed to be. I guess I just have to guess. Do we get anything on them? I don't know if we got acid on them or not. I ain't gonna bother looking, there's no point. Um, oh man, this guy's dead. <sighs> Vindicators generally don't have a lot of armor. Well. Just, well, we're gonna use up our dead fire. Well, we might as well, why not? What else am I going to use it on? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. What else am I going to use it on? Come on, guys. Good target. Did 
Didn't even move, eh? What's up, boss? Didn't even move. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. I should really see if I can fit different ammo in this thing. Like a half ton of something else for the LRM launcher. Even just a half ton of standard ammo would be nice. Like a half ton of chaff, half ton of standard, or half narc, half half uh, chaff, something like that. Dude, so violent. I'm receiving you. Uh, meh. I think that's pretty good. And let's go this route. Sure. Well, yeah, three hits. 46 heat, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if I want to dick around with these guys anymore, though. These guys are playing for keeps, and I'm not. Yes, Commander. All right, time to play for keeps. Let's just do this. Ten four. Can't do that. Firing. Confirm. Ready for orders. Playing for keeps. Let's do this. Okay, acid on our target. Fucking shoot me, will you? Okay, we got 28 rounds of dead fire left, so it's 12, uh, 18, 24. Let's use them. Yeah, I destroyed the Klein XL, but I'm tired of playing around with these guys. Um, target this guy, leg. Let's give it a Warlord, just so we have a better chance to hit. And we'll target his leg, firing. Hopefully we get the... Uh, I like to get the leg. I, I don't want to just totally murder these guys, but... SRM AX destroyed. And this guy, well, you know, he might get the leg. Mega Sword just has to, like, not, uh, not shoot the leg. Or not punch, I mean. Light PPC misfire. Um... Just walk up here. Uh, I'm gonna warlord it, get our heat back. I'm gonna shoot for the leg of the two medium lasers. SM4 can keep the dead fire. And LK the rest, see what we get. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. You saw your friend die, right? Ah, crap. Oh, well, that ended that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's hope we got some stuff off those guys. So 45% increase in payment, which is good. Be able to cover our repairs for sure. Uh, I don't think we took anything internal damage. I think we were pretty good overall, which is nice. Got to find some LRM stuff. Um, Clint Peace, ah, wow. Okay, AC-10, no. A couple of ATM-9, well, they're pirates, though. Eh, stay away from pirate stuff. Uh, Triple Plus Flamer, mm, don't really need it. Uh, pirate, no. Pirate Light Tag, Plasma Cannons, Rotary Articanon, two pirates. 
Um, recoil of three, plus or minus two, five misfire, misfire multiplier, recoil X multiplier is three, so it's 15% chance in the first. MLP will explode for 30 damage. Pirate rack barrage with small caliber shots, five. Yeah. Tagger. Articulated jump jets, eh? Sprinting and walking distance? Defense against being hit, minus 15% jump distance. Really? Okay. Compact heat sinks. Oh, compact heat sink kits. Pirate ECMs. Pirate jammers. Low tier has three, three dispensers checks. Blah. Um... Ballistic fire control systems. Minus one recoil with ballistic weapons. XL gyro. Ultralight gyro. Double heat sink kit. Throw those in two in for now. Lower arm, NSS. Still got three of these things. Um, prototype double heat sinks. We still have one of these. Stealth, Stealth X. Do these things... Yeah, they're not quite as good as the NSS systems. Minus 30% reduced visibility. These are minus 50, I think, aren't they? Minus 35%, but they have greater chances to hit at, at longer ranges. So they are a little better. Stealth X... Yeah, still not worth it. Upper recoil, warfare suite, kind of amp. This is the first time I've gone down a list and like haven't been able to say, oh, I really want that, or I really want this, or there's really nothing in here I want. Half incendiary, plus one damage dealt, plus one heat damage dealt. Plasma ammo, do we have plasma ammo? We do, don't we? No, we don't. We already got 10 shots on our plasma cannon. We haven't been running out, so we're okay. Uh, acid ammo. Um, I don't know. What else do we take, man? Like arm accuracy minus two recoil. That well, we got one of these already. Um. Coral double heat sinks, patchwork materials, point like seven five, point seven five tons. Um, fire control system, ballistic. I mean, we could do a pretty good ballistic build. Like we could really do like a really good ballistic build. Double heat sinks would be nice, but I don't see any in here. T Sam cannon, eh, I'm staying away from. We got the taser already still, so no double heat sinks, eh? Or I just not see them. No, no double heat sinks, really. Um, hmm. So let's do that. Endo steel we're still good for, right? We got two left. Um,. Wow. Compact heats. We got the protos down heat sinks down here, right? We don't really need patchwork materials right now. We got one of these guys and one of these guys, right? Yeah. Um uh, I'm kind of okay with this. I know we have double heat sink kit, but it's one of those things that we could sell if we had to. This is almost worth three hundred thousand. So we could sell it if we need it if we needed to. Uh, XL gyros. How many? We got three of these. Let's get rid of that. Um, take the other proto heat sink. Now you know what? Let's take the other. Let's take the 0.75 ton patchwork materials. Let's do that. Okay, one Grimalkin part. That's it, eh? Two Vindicator parts, Watcher part, AC-10, Light PPC, Machine Gun Array, Heavy. I think we got one of these. No, we don't have one of these yet. Armored Cowl, 
couple of compact heat sinks. Ender Steel, yeah. NSS, okay, stealth. Warfare Suite, actually not. We didn't get too, that's not bad. Not a bad roll on this at all. Got some stuff we could probably use in the future for sure. All right, guys, not too bad, not too bad. 50,000. That's really nothing for repairs for what we, what we were doing there. All right, so we're going to end the episode here. That's three uh, missions at, um, at uh, three and a half skulls. So let's actually change this around to this. That'll be eight days. Um, three missions at three and a half skulls. So we're going to definitely have to punch up to four skulls, see what we can get out of that. Um, having a hard time finding good heavy mechs at uh, three and a half skulls. You can see those last three missions. There's not a lot there. Um, we'll have to try find something else, I guess. Um, hopefully, maybe take some more mission against clan. So maybe we move to a different planet. That's a possibility. But we'll see you next episode. All right. So uh, we're gonna leave it there. If you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to, feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.